How's it going everybody? I'm Danny D. This is Seven Deadly Bananas and we're about to watch Shameless. Season 5, episode 9. <laughs> Fuck. The last episode, I think, it wasn't like a, like a harsh one or anything like that. It was just, there was so many different storylines and, and that, that affected me, you know, during that last episode and in so many different ways did it just punch me in the face, you know, like, and, and I'll leave the other stories alone for now, you know, until it, more things develop and more things start to take, take light. But Frank is an asshole. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Anyway, let's just continue. <laughs> I'm heavily sedated and even I know what happened last week on Shameless. <laughs> how have you been? God, his entire, his, everything about Ian also is like changed, just changed. I hope they throw the book at Carl. I hope the other kids in Juvie toss his salad. Or make him toss theirs, whichever's worse. <laughs> Depends on perspective, probably. <laughs> Fuck, dude, that lady is just. What are you talking about? Come back to bed. No, I can't let them get out. Fuck. Here we go. Morning. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. It's only gonna get worse. Look. Okay, so they're, I mean, pointing out the signs. We gotta get you to a fucking clinic, get some meds. Today. Don't do it. Shut up, Fuck Frank. Fuck off, Frank. Now he's really pissing me off. Oh, I would, uh, he needs a drop kick. Chuck Norris drop kick. Think of it as justice for the scumbag who made a kid do his dirty work. You didn't make me. I wanted to. He's just fucking showing off. What if he shows remorse? What? What's that? It yeah, right? He doesn't even know what that word, yeah. God damn, it's, I mean, seriously, it's almost like Carl just lives in his completely different world that no one else really had any kind of fucking influence on. Well, except for just him witnessing shit. I just mean like actual parental. But in prison, little bunnies get raped. Oh my God. Do you know what that means? I mean, shut the fuck up, Sammy. Oh my. I'm not going to be there in juvie to protect you, so you need to listen very carefully. Sammy. Make friends in there. Oh. Do things for them so they'll protect you, like making them feel good. Uh, Do you understand? No. What are you? I can't even take this like conversation. Like touching right them. Oh, shut the fuck up. Do you know how to jerk a guard off? Oh. I'll teach you. This is disgusting. I don't even, oh. <laughs> that hurt my brain, every part of that. <laughs> Morning drinker, woman after my own heart. What's the occasion? What is going on? Cancer. Cancer? Stage three pancreatic. Oh, fuck. The alibi room uh -huh. is a couple of blocks away. Okay, but which direction? Oh, I'll show you. Jesus, Jesus, and she is definitely around the wrong person. There is some evidence that in time, the need for aggressive treatment diminishes. How much time? Hard to say. Ballpark. Uh, 30, all the wrong 40 years. Fuck, fuck. Nothing feels more defeated than to hear something like that. You just deflate. The feeling of giving up immediately hits your head. I don't know if any, I don't know if that happens with bipolar, but I, I absolutely know that feeling. To college, med school, interning, residency, all work and no play. Good old fashioned Puritan work ethic. Here's to all that time Fuck. wasted. Jeez. And she's just winding Frank up for that one. You will not touch one hair on his head. Do you understand? You think you scare me? <laughs> Bring it, bitch. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I feel like those are two of the similar forces. <laughs> oh, my God. Head in hand this entire episode. <laughs> Not like your first time. <laughs> Holy shit. 
see. And this is like, it's so weird because he's doing a nice thing. He's doing the super nice thing, but he's like doing it in such a shitty way. <laughs> <laughs> Skanky Sammy, which got me by surprise. Sammy. Still got a few uppercuts in. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and here, this too. I grabbed him from the lost and found at work. For some it's a weak reason, prescription, you'll be fine. Brother. How Wood stupid Carl. do I look? Just his attitude towards this stuff. Jesus, I want to kick my own ass. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> oh my god. How is it that no one gives him shit for this attitude? Baby! What happened? Boys hit me. Called me rat. Uncle Carl told him. Oh shit. Oh shit. Fuck. Defense would like to reiterate that this is defendant's first arrest. He has never been in trouble before and that he has an IQ of barely functional intelligence. Uh -huh. Charles? Chucky. What? <laughs> Would you like to say anything before sentencing? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that's a hell of a case for him, you know. My Chucky is a good boy. The only thing he's ever stolen was my heart. But he was taken advantage of by an older family member. Of 120 days at the Illinois Department of Corrections Juvenile Justice Division. 60 days for good behavior. Oh, he'll behave, Your Honor. <laughs> Jesus, I was 13. It's gonna be okay, Bunny. Remember, be nice to the guards. Oh my fucking God. You have got to be fucking kidding me. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, all he has to do is not be a fucking asshole. I did something really dumb that I shouldn't have. I trusted a fucking retard with a man's job. Uh, Next time I move a bunch of drugs, I'll mind. be smarter. If your honor would lose 20 pounds, I would consider tapping that. Oh. I think I've what? heard enough. This fucking guy. Yeah, no, he's hit the asshole stage for sure. You're a man of the custody of the sheriff. This court is in recess. My brother did not do anything like that in court, but the attitude of him definitely reminds me of him when he, in certain stages of his young. Don't worry, I'm gonna make Juvie my bitch. We'll send letters. We'll send letters. We'll be okay. Okay, hell, he's gonna be running the joint. Any chance I'll get scared straight? No, no. no. Fuck no. If you like that and you want to see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below, Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. I was going to kill that motherfucker. I always remember what you told me. You said, I got this. Ian. You got this. God, I thought I was going to make it through this. And to hear it from Lip, too, like... So how long do I have to pay him back? I wouldn't worry about it. You're gonna have 15 different job offers when you get out of here. <laughs> it's good news, Lip. Just let it happen. That happened to me once, not with school, but I had a major medical bill that I had to pay and it was just, it was one of those defeating moments. It just seemed like an amount I'd never be able to really pay off. And my boss, my 7-Eleven boss, paid for it. They said it was a grant that they found, but I'm pretty sure they paid for it. I bought, I bought the grant story though, until I got old and wise. <laughs> it, it's so simple in your 20s because you fall in love, you make bank when your girl posts videos of herself masturbating online, but then one day you wake up, the bills are piled up, babies crying in your face. <laughs> Everything is just so fucking hard. <laughs> and the one thing that was easy, her. She can do more with the flick of her tongue than girls here can do gyrating their entire bodies. <laughs> That's what happens when you marry the best. Uh, okay. Hey, thank you, man. This is a great talk. Uh, <laughs> he has no idea what just happened. <laughs> oh, I hope that works out, though. I hope it works out, for fuck's sake. I, something tells me V's not going to be liking the news. I am so I've gotten through worse, sorry. Though, right? I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Don't you worry. Is she about to tat him? She's fucking tatting him. Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm gonna mess with you again. 
what are you gonna tat his face? You're gonna tat his face. You're also not supposed to use that, like there's, oh Jesus fucking Christ. Hey. Okay, come on buddy, tell me. Called a couple times. Oh no, is this gonna end up? Can't leave the fucking state to be with my son. Let's go inside. What I fantasize about is my P.O. In pain. His family in pain doing to him what he's doing to me. Bobby, Joe Patrick and Maypole. Needle spoon. A bag of dope. That's my move. That's where I'm going. <laughs> so I'm not gonna move. I'm gonna try like hell not to move. You can't see it, but I'm like, like flicking my fingers and shit. Guys, if we're gonna sit out this here. This guy's fucking battles. You need this. He's got a lot of battles, a lot of battles. <laughs> Meanwhile, trying to be a good person. Hardy shy town. He's a nice guy too. Doesn't rip you off when you're passed down. <laughs> those are the those are the good ones to know, I guess. Oh, you fucking asshole. It's just on the bus. <laughs> no one's fucking saying nothing. See, every time it changes that, like, again, it, I, there's this small, tiny hope in me that hopes when it goes back to him, he's doing something good <laughs> or not stealing it. <laughs> the, the hope will never die. It just lives to get trampled on, I guess. This is interesting because it feels like he's realizing his faults on it too. It's not just a matter of just missing her. You know, he's realizing that he, he's got to give her attention. You know, you're tired. You're beat up all the time. You don't feel like you're getting much help, but you know, she deserves it. Before the kids, she was, you guys went to hell and back probably a couple times. How do you know where I live? Uh, your license, your wallet. <sighs> Yeah, see, God damn it. Like, again, like, I feel like they're hiding good. They're using the good to hide the real bullshit that he's doing. Like, that's what I'm ready for. That's what I'm expecting. But a little piece of hope is just hoping that he's fucking... You with us? Oh, my God. Fuck. And now he has a swastika in his head. That's gonna be... Oh, and he's gonna get fucked with. We know you ain't snitch. Could have gave him up. Could have made things easier for yourself. Kept your mouth shut. Oh shit, he's a G. Oh, no. Cut loose with it. Fuck, he's Hard. getting the Frank kind of luck with him now, and he's just oblivious. Oh my god. <laughs> the only thing I feel like I'm going to uh, remark on is Carl. It, this, this is an interesting thing that, that I think, it's one of those educational things. Like, I'm not trying to say that my brother was anything like Carl. I feel like he had a lot of the same like aggressions and the same fuck you kind of attitude towards the man and all this other shit. He wasn't asking to go to juvie, you know? Like he wasn't just plain out saying fuck you to the judge. Like none of that was really the case. The, the, the idea of going to jail was a real thing. He knew about it and he definitely didn't want it to happen. Regardless, he did go. And there was a couple times throughout his uh, younger career where he went and got into trouble and things like that. And, and really, I can also only say that it was when he was fucked up, when he was on drugs, is when he was that kind of asshole. Like any other time, he was just the nicest guy. He, he's like almost just like me, hard on a sleeve kind of thing. He would give you the shirt on his back and he just became this other person. It, it's almost as if they're giving Carl just his own show within the show. Everybody just says, Carl, or cut it out. And, and that's it. That's, that's the most kind of guidance that, that Carl gives. I don't even know. I don't even know. I wonder how that's going to be portrayed. I wonder how that's going to be portrayed when it comes to Carl. <laughs> Shameless. Season five. 
Episode 10, easiest one to do by far. This, this I think is probably my favorite season. There is so many things going on in these last few episodes that have just done kind of everything a show is supposed to do, a show of this nature is supposed to do. It brought you up, it brought you down, it made you hate people, it got you angry, it made you happy, nostalgic. All the words that you can think of on what I think a show like this is supposed to deliver has been delivered. Considering the subject matters and how many things that I'm just kind of being enlightened on, that only adds to the entire appreciation of this, you know? And I think I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that, really. <laughs> I'm raising five kids and I didn't miss last week. What's your excuse? Carl! Already seen it. It's not working. Sorry, man. Fucking nuts. Let me in, please. Close the door, Ian's right there. What the hell? All right, breakfast and champs. We got your mood stabilizer, antipsychotic, antidepressant, Gatorade. Fucking nurse, no? Shut the fuck up, take a pill, bitch. <laughs> Honestly, I think, I mean, one of the things that I think you can do with this kind of situation is to normalize it as fast as possible. In this case, I don't know if I completely agree with as hard as Mickey is, but that's how everybody knows Mickey. So, you know, that might be part of the normalcy. Peas for the noggin, aspirin for the muscles, honey lemon for the tummy. Do we have sex? <sighs> no, I slept <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> You need to go. Oh, come on. We had a blast, didn't we? You're my favorite dying person I've ever met. Please. Thank you for yesterday. Hold on. Goodbye. No, yeah. no, come on. We're just goodbye. Getting... A goodbye. Hey, come on. You know what I'm talking about. Wait, just to. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Haven't had a chance to say that in a long time. <laughs> Kick rocks. <laughs> Oh, she is just so stoked right now. I'm stoked for her, frankly. He seems like a good dude. No, I want to have sex with you. Oh, shit. Oh. oh. Huh. Really? Yeah. Ah. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> the last time I did it, things got confusing. I'm not confused. Are you? No. I'm happy. Uh, come on. Fuck. I can't, I, I can't handle the conversation. But again, I'll take it. It's so much better than what's been going on in the entire thing up until this point. Victory, I'll take it. <laughs> oh, it was still hard to hear all of that though. So yeah, this, I mean, they're showing, they're showing the symptoms and things of this nature. That goes beyond Ian's acting. Like that's what they're trying to use in order to give us this feeling a little bit, a little insightfulness again of what this is like. How accurate is that? So there's Ian's acting and what they're doing here. Don't know, fuck. Dude, that's your skin's gone. Your skin's gone. Yeah, ah, fuck. Yo, you need me to get you the first aid kit? Ah, uh, see, I did that before, not on a grill, but fuck. I, boiling water at, at a coffee shop. I burn myself. Hold on. It's our lamp. It's ugly, no one uses it. God, she is just such a fucking mixture of just like these random good moments and, and just crazy shit. She's just. How'd you get that one? I tried to hotwire a helicopter, I, burn myself. I feel like she's like an entire thing of, of therapy books. I got caught trying to steal government property, and that's why the MPs are after me. Well, that and going AWOL, and enlisting under a false identity, and uh, maybe other stuff. Wow, pretty hardcore. No, just mentally ill. I see that as hope right there, like him being able to say that. Like, it sucks to say, but practicing is, is kind of the key, I feel. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with these kids? What fucking weed you sold them? Some shit called Spice? That was Spice? Oh, no wonder I got a discount. What? Oh, shit. Yeah, how many people smoke this shit? It's gotta be a metaphor for something. <laughs> right? That looked like, that was like a straight up uh, World War Z, whatever. What the fuck? I think I broke my rhino. 
Rhinoceros. Broke his rhinoceros? What did he say? Good luck scrubbing your junk. <laughs> no, in my junk, l'amour. You're a dumbass, you know that? <sighs> Fuck you, Frank. Whoa, what the happened in your hand? Hey, what are you doing? I'm going out. Did a doctor take care of that? Either you can stay here and jerk off into your vitamins, or you can come with me. It's your call. That was some rubber arm shit right there. Not really giving him any choice. I'm your man. Frank, stick I'm... with me, woman. And you will not go gentle into that good night. <laughs> it is a little romantic, but it's Frank. Fuck Frank. If you don't join me by the time I'm done, Consider my offer revoked. That's like the weirdest fucking thing. It's the weirdest chain of events. If you like that highlight and you want to see more of me watching this completely unedited, hit that link below. Seven Deadly Bananas on Patreon. Get in there and start watching TV with me. He's on drugs, okay? He get kicked out of school and my friend who sold him the drugs, he's staying illegally in the dorms. He could go to jail. To recognize that you are a promising young college student, not some ghetto outlaw. You stop behaving like the world is out to get you when it is so clearly dropping gifts at your feet. No one at the Kmart knows about my baloney. You know what? Uh, uh, Go back to your door. <laughs> no one at the Kmart knows about my baloney. <laughs> that was amazing. That's another t-shirt. Mark it. Jesus, it's been many years since that time we banged. <laughs> That's right. I remember that. No, no, look, you're not supposed to drink on lithium. It makes your blood fucking toxic. It gets you hammered in like two seconds. Five. Can't <laughs> Isn't this the second fight they've been in now? <coughs> oh, you fucking wet rat. I just don't know. I don't know. This doesn't feel like it's, this doesn't feel like right. It doesn't, but I could be wrong. Again, I don't know. Is this, was that at all like something that could be looked at as a positive or is that just a situation? I don't know. You kicking me out? Kinda. Mm. For good? Kinda. It wasn't that minor, dude. But you know, I, people like me here. I can be everybody's big bro. They can come to me for real world advice. Like, uh, gangster shit. What? Crabs. Crabs. What the fuck? <laughs> you can go home. You can hang with your kids. You can make up with your wife. It's time. I'm, I'm surprised he hasn't done that yet, frankly. I've seen what chemo does to a body. It's not a battle. That's a lost cause. It's not about that. But truthfully, I am fighting for my goddamn dignity. Why can't they see that? She's around the wrong person, just the worst person. Then why are you doing this? I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> <laughs> but I will never, ever ask you to do chemo. Let's go get tattoos. Uh. <laughs> Again, it's just such a weird situation how this show just makes something like brings the good from like such a horrible piece of shit like Frank. <sighs> oh, we don't need that. I'm on the pill. Shut up, no. God damn it. Debbie. Oh, she's gonna have a kid, isn't she? Oh. See, now it's a little more revealed. I thought he was just trying to be Mr. I don't need help kind of guy, but obviously he's, he's just not in the right mind frame. And there's Fiona caught in the middle of a situation now. Goddamn. By... Same train, different train car. Long and cherry blossoms and spring and Fingers crossed for them. Oh, the cops came by. 
Hey, he wanted to know where I got the drugs. Why? I told him your buddy sold them to me. Also, they're arresting his babies for not shutting the fuck up. Uh, he's fucking with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That would... Oh, my God. Lip probably fucking took a shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. What? You know, for not writing this out. So good. Hey, where I come from? We got each other's back. Little south side thing. It's an interesting nobility. We've never actually been on a real date. Bullshit. No, I'm serious. Like, like a date where you sit down and you go to a nice restaurant and you put on a nice shirt and you like eat with utensils. <laughs> with utensils. <laughs> you are a really good kid with a big heart. You have some hard times ahead of you, but you're gonna do great. <laughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> This is Ian Gallagher. I think they're ready to take him to jail now. Oh, what the fuck? Oh. Oh my God, Sammy, fuck you. You just pull. Hang it back! You good? Yeah. Fuck you, Sammy. Jesus, holy shit. What's going you on? For fuck's sake, look, fuck. Look, where are you taking it? Whoa, where hey, are you fuck, taking it? Hey, just fucking look. It's a shame when someone you love gets taken away, isn't it? Oh, fuck. She's fucked. She's fucked. And I'm kind of. I, I hope I see it. That is way over the fucking line. Way over the fu I can't believe. That is some Frank Gallagher shit right there. That is her, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. I, I have no words. I have no words. That like l almost literally overshadowed the rest of the episode, if you ask me. Like, I, I wouldn't even know what I would do. I have no idea what I would do if I was in uh, oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> That's about as far as I'm going to go with that. Seriously, I, I'm i like, I need to let that process. <laughs> I can't find, no. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, well, I hope they get her in some way. I don't know. I'm going to have to rest on this one, guys. <laughs> like, my anger is making me think bad things. I have no idea what I would do in that situation. And right now, my instinctual reaction, my first gut reaction is I'm on fire right now. Like I would be so incredibly pissed and I can't say what I would do if I were in Nikki or Fiona's shoes. I honestly can't say it. So I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna rest on it. <laughs> I'm gonna approach this again with a clear mind <laughs> and a rested mind and see what happens. Let's see if I'm still on fire at that point. Whoo! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the support and I will definitely see you on the next episode. <sighs>